YouTube. All right, so we actually have to head up to Fort Smith today. I'm gonna take mom's truck in to get it serviced, go get some the oil changed on it, and we're picking up the RV. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> so we finally got the uh, the recall was done on it. So it needed a new propane regulator. So they replaced that. Um, I also had them check the battery because for whatever reason the battery wasn't charging But they checked it that checked out good. Uh, it's recharged So for whatever reason, I think it's because I had unplugged the trailer for a couple of days and I did not turn off the breakers inside the trailer so things a couple things would still be running that runs off the battery like um the uh like the smoke detector type stuff the um there's another sensor that's in there um to be able to sense like the propane leaks and, and stuff like that. Um, anything anyway those things were still running uh, obviously the the screen or the control panel for the air conditioner that still runs the the radio clock still runs so yeah, I forgot to turn off the breakers. Hey, I'm new to owning a trailer, so when I unplugged it, I forgot to turn off breakers. So <laughs> it is what it is, and it ran down the battery. But they got it all charged up. It's all fixed. It's good to go. And we also had them look at the air conditioner because the air conditioner was not holding a charge. It lost its charge, so therefore it was no longer um, working. Yeah. And... It's awesome. So they got us a brand new air conditioner. It, uh, they did not repair it and recharge it. They just gave us a brand new one. It's actually still under warranty from the factory. So got us a brand new air conditioner. So now we're gonna head up that way. We're gonna go get mom's truck serviced first and then go pick up the RV. So let's head that way. center that we took the trailer to this is the breeding RV so if you guys are ever in need of service or needing a new RV come check them out here in Van Buren Arkansas but there it is over there up here and go sign some paperwork and that's about it. You sure it's that one that says passport? Yep, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the one that says passport. Are you sure that's the one that's ours? I'm pretty sure that's the one that's ours. 100% possible. Yep, yeah. so got the paperwork signed and we're gonna come pick up the baby. Alright, so we're gonna back up and I gotta put the other hitch on, get it back in here, and back to the house. All right, we got it all hooked up. Bars are in, just like before. Yes, I do got the pin in, there and there. I know I've forgotten them before, but 
go walk around do a quick check make sure everything's up yeah I know I'm missing the cap on that bumper that happened sometime going from Virginia to Arkansas what? I blame that on Troy <laughs> the no the cap missing out of the bumper it's like it's like yeah cat missing off the tire no this one and this should be locked locked everything's locked all right looks good load up the truck let's go all right well it's a little bit later in the evening but you can see we got the old passport back here on the property got it set up you can kind of hear yeah here in the background that the AC is working well at least it's turned on let's come in here and see oh yeah so much better let's get some lights off so you guys can see we'll get this closed up that's just like the initial to get the initial thing done so now you can get some nice cold air out of the vents come back here the girls room yeah got some filter media but yeah here we go and the uh, the trailers made it home we got it and it's kind of loud in here so i'm gonna go ahead and step back outside you know it feels so good in here it's fun I want you guys to be able to hear. But yeah, everything went off pretty good. And uh, mom's truck does really well uh, hauling the, the trailer, even though the truck itself isn't really rated for this style of trailer. I probably wouldn't do it as like a full-time truck, but yeah. For the the hour, like hour ten minutes or whatever it took to be able to take this to where it needed to go and then back, it does just fine. But she needs a wash. Uh, uh, dirty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> but doing good. And you can see up here. That's what I was looking for. See it. Drip, 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 drip. Drip, 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 got water. So I was trying to figure out which corner condensation was gonna come off of, and there we go. Coming off the back side exactly like I wanted it to, whether it be the front or the back. And uh, lets me know that the air conditioner is working good. All right, good deal. Now, uh, just a, a quick update if you guys have made it this far definitely give us that thumbs up share it out to your friends and but if you made it this far i did want to let you guys know that uh, we're still in process of getting our property that we have uh, put in an offer we got a counter offer and even though the counter offer came in a couple days past like the expiration of what our offer was um it it came out pretty good you know and obviously in favor of us you know the, the price came down a uh, significant significant i can't say that i'll put it right here <laughs> but it uh it did drop and the thing though is even at the price that it is currently at it's still over like a little over four thousand an acre um and our loan officer kind of feels that the since it's raw land that it's probably not going to sell for that for this area but we also try telling them too that it's not just raw land that it has power it has water it has septic it has fencing it has it's not just raw land it's already been you know established so just because the house that is currently on the property is not livable the house alone is the only thing that's not giving it any value but everything else is still there it still gives it value so 
Um, we, we are happy with the price that is set on the property, but you still got to jump through the hoops, right? Because if the appraiser does not appraise the property, what they're asking for it, what the seller is asking for it, then we would have to come out of pocket, right? The additional portion of that because loan officer is only going to give you what it's going to appraise for and actually a little less so it is what it is all right so we've already contacted our our realtor and uh, just trying to get you know some other uh, figures some other stuff you know that that way the the comps for the area for the county for the whatever you know to kind of give them a warm and fuzzy that hey the property should assess for what it's going to do because but we're also putting in that because they they want to deposit right the deposit should go towards the property but it's supposed to be a non-refundable deposit so we're also trying to put in an addendum that if for whatever reason the house does not appraise or the land does not appraise at what they're asking that we can get our deposit back so, but that, that's kind of out of our hands. It's out of the seller's hands, right? Because appraisal is just that, it's an appraisal. It just really depends on who you get. You know, one of them's gonna appraise it really good. The other one's gonna appraise it really bad. So it just, it's luck of the draw whenever it comes to that. All right. But we are still going through that. So still, you know, cross your fingers, <laughs> cross your toes. You know shoot out a little prayer if that's what you're into and just definitely keep us in your thoughts you know that we're we're still moving forward obviously we've already put in an offer they accepted the offer kind of they gave us a counter offer but it lowered the price and and blah blah, blah and it's a bunch of stuff which we're accepting that counter offer but we still have to go through the rigmarole of the loan officer we still have to go through the other things and it's lowering the price it, it's yeah it, it is all those stuff right so it it just uh it's, it's nerve-wracking is what it is so but we're still here but we do got the rv back so that's a plus with that being back um at any moment at any moment we can go down to texas and grab mom and dad and bring them up whenever they're ready to move now that we have our trailer that me and gladys we can use utilize this as our bedroom to sleep in to do all all that other stuff and still utilize the house for cooking all the other stuff and and mom and dad would just take over the bedroom that we are currently sleeping in right so but yeah that's the quick update let you guys know that we're still on track but we're also at the mercy of other folks, you know, to, to say yay or nay of us getting property. All right, you guys, so definitely give us that thumbs up, share it out to your friends. If you are made it this far, you might as well subscribe, it's free. Come on, guys. Share it out to your friends. And always, always, always remember to thank a veteran. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.